Hey, what's up programmers? Today we're going to look at custom attributes using Aurelia. So we're going to look at our application that we just created in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, um, I'll add it to the notes below. But we created a really simple application using custom elements. And today we're going to look at custom attributes. So let's take a look. So if you don't uh, remember, this is our application here. And if we open up a window here. I already have it running. So you can see it's running in the background here. I have Tmux running. So what we want to do now is we want to generate a custom attribute just to get an idea of how that works. And to do that we're going to go create, um, we know we're already using Bootstrap, so let's go ahead and create a custom attribute um, to use with our, uh, just to use with a component, uh, just to use with Bootstrap, and we'll use the tooltip. So the way the tooltip works is in Bootstrap, you just mouse over something, and you get a little nice tooltip you can put at the top, bottom, right, left, and you just have to add in this data toggle tooltip. You can you can put where the placement is. And on top of that, you add a little jQuery. We can add the tooltip to it. And then there's a bunch of options that we can add. So I'll show you how that looks and works. So first we need to generate our tooltip. So we're going to just use the Aurelia CLI. So AU generate attribute tool dash tip. All right, it's created. We'll go back in and we'll look at our source and remember the resources attributes folder that is where it's created at. You can see from here this is what we get by default. Just generated. So what we need to do is we want it to soon it's as the attribute is attached we want to go ahead and make sure the tooltip is attached to it. So if you look in the documentation, and then there's also some really good blogs about this, but there's the, uh, Aurelia has a view model lifecycle, and there's some methods available that we can use um, throughout our application. And really when you're using, when you want to do any special things with jQuery, you can use the attached lifecycle. So we can see if that works. Let's take a look. And so the attach, this method's get called when the view is attached to the DOM. Here's where you do your DOM manipulation. So we don't really need value chains. So we're gonna delete that. So we're gonna add attached. And we're just gonna add an alert to see if it works. Value is attached. Okay. And now if we notice, we loaded it here we don't get uh, any pop-up because we haven't, we have this resource, we have this attribute, we haven't added it anywhere. So let's go back to our elements. In the previous video, we created a header. So let's go ahead and add that in there. And so we'll just do a require from, and then we put in the exact path to it. So resources slash attributes tool dash tip and we'll save it and once again we don't see anything but we can look and inspect to see if it loaded so we see the header here it looks like there's an array so there's the tool tip looks like it was loaded so now we can go in and actually make sure it's added somewhere. So let's just, let's go and take a look at this message. So that's right here, my new website. And let's see if we go tool dash tip equals, and we'll go test, doesn't really matter. We'll just add it to it. And now when we save it, okay, values attached. So we know that it's working correctly. We got this pop-up values attached as we suspected. 
expected. So if we go back here, so now we have alert values attached. But what we really want to do is some quick jQuery here. So first, if we want to be able to grab values like this value here, if we go back to our header, we notice that we have a tooltip equals test, but we can actually put values in here and then get them inside our tooltip, our attribute. So if I put in, let's say something called title and put in this is the title, we can then go back to the tooltip here and we can use something called bindable. And we'll add bindable here. We'll call title. And the way you do this, you just put in any. And the title should be now available. So if we go to alert and put this dot title, we should actually see it. This is the title. So as you can see, it was passed in because it's bound. So now we have, it's a, by default, I believe it's one way binded, meaning that it's coming from the view into our tooltip here. Um, so we can't change it. So we can't do this dot title. We can't change it to something else that is um, from the, from the attribute it said uh, that is. So what we want to do is we can use some simple jQuery. I'll paste what I have here. And what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, let's grab the element. We're going to add tooltip to it because we know if we look at our bootstrap documentation, we can, we can grab the functionality here with that tooltip. And now we want to add an option to it. So we're going to add title. So we're going to grab this dot title that's being passed in. And just for the heck of it, we're going to put the placement at the bottom. So we're going to save that. And one more thing, just to be safe, we're going to add the data right here, data dot toggle equals tooltip, because that's what's in the documentation for Bootstrap. If we save it, and we mouse over it. Now we got our tooltip. This is the title. I don't know if you can see that very well. I can maybe magnify into it. See, this is the title. All right, so we know it's working. All right, so that was just a quick tip on how to use custom attributes. Of course, there's a lot more things you can do. Um, but get used to using attached and detached too if you're using jQuery or you're attaching stuff in the DOM as things load. Um, it's very, very helpful. You can also, there's other things you can do with the custom attributes. Or excuse me, uh, yeah, custom attributes. You can, when things change, you can have things happen. Um, but we won't get into too much of that. In the next video, we'll take a look at routes. But I just wanted to get in, uh, let you guys look at this. If you guys have any questions, please leave it below, and thanks.